Oh man, this is not a good sign. When that disclaimer pops up before the game even starts and, and they're saying, hey, this doesn't reflect our views, it's gonna be bad. I can't even show this. I can't even show the title screen. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to another more Copy Sue video. Harum Hunter Sex Ray Vision. Well, let's, let's start it up. Here we go, Mark Copy. I did put my name in when I had the options up, so uh, that, that explains Mark Copy. We were Ryoshi, but we're going with Mark Copy. Here we go. Ugh, my chest hurts. After weeks of unpaid overtime, without even the time to go home to sleep, I finally reached my limit. One fatal heart attack later. Oh wow, we already died. That's actually crazy. And you'd think my life would be over. Well, one was anyway, but that only led to a much more fun opportunity. Da -da -da. So, this is where the Adventurer's Guild is. This place sure is lively. The guild is filled with people dressed in plate armor, various robes, and such. It definitely feels like a place for adventurers to gather. Time for my legend to begin. I look around the place, excited to find it looks just like I imagined a guild like this would look. Okay, dialogue so far. Uh, it has a lot to be desired. Okay, I guess this means we're thinking this. Who knew I'd be teleported to another world after dying? I guess it wasn't such a bad end after all. I've been reborn in some kind of fancy world with magic and everything. Okay, this seems like the plot to a lot of shows. The people here confident in their combat skills head over to the build to get quests like killing monsters or looking for treasure. Okay, I'm guessing the art budget is where most of the the budget is as opposed to the dialogue, because this isn't this isn't doing it for me so far, fellas. I ain't gonna lie. This is all playing out just like the fantasy stories in my beloved mangoes and light novels. The Adventures Guild is a place I've always dreamed about seeing for real, and now here I am. Thankfully, I was able to sell the nudes I had on me when I got teleported here for a lot of money, so gear shouldn't be a problem. This plot is just atrocious. After getting my hands on some of this world's money, I instantly asked around to find this place. On the way here, I used various magic items I bought to kill monsters I encountered though it was a lot harder than expected. Thankfully, I leveled up a bit from that. Actually, a bit isn't correct at all. I feel like I leveled I leveled way too fast. Am I cheating or something? Am I some cheater or something? Each week, monsters gave me several several levels. This this is just not doing it for me. I don't know, we need to, to meet some girls sooner or later. I'm gonna drop this shit. Anyway, Anyways, that obviously gave me some confidence, and I head straight here. Now that I'm here, time to find a quest and get started. In my old world, I had no luck with money or woman, but here I'll change that for sure. Suddenly, a voice coming from behind makes me turn around. Okay, Luca and her magic videos, I guess. The Japanese voice acting, I do like that. But what is with this hat? It looks like a giant Pringle. It's huge. Like that, it, her hat is longer than her torso. Why would, that, that makes no sense. That's such an inconvenient hat. Oh man, this game is not, the realism isn't here. But let's continue. A cheerful girl stands along a nearby wall, talking in an upbeat voice. What is this? What is this game? I did not buy this, by the way. If you look for Hunter Harum Sex Ray Vision, I think it's over $10. Someone bought it for me, and their name rhymes with mad lad, but that's beside the point. Like, why, why, is, this, why is this here? She's quite short, though she has an incredibly large chest. Based on the robe she's wearing, I'd say she's a magician. Wait, that's Luca from Magitube. <laughs> Whoa, it's really her. Magitube is the biggest video broadcasting platform in this world. Of course it is. 
Instead of cameras, people use various crystal balls to broadcast and watch the videos uploaded there. This girl is one of the most famous creators on the platform and one of the strongest magicians around. I've seen some of her videos along the way here. She even makes her own magic and uploads videos of the process. Though what gets a lot of people's attention is her incredible body, I'm sure. Alright, let's introduce ourselves. She waves her arms excitedly over at three other girls, who all look a lot less excited about the situation. Alright, Nina Sandes, let's uh, clap for her. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's turn the music down just a little bit. Music volume. Sexy sound volume is going to be all the way up, 100%. What is this? I did come in here to change my name uh, before I started, but... X-ray shots? Oh no. Man, that's going to be wild. This is, this is actually insane. Extras. After H scene select, like we would do that. Oh wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. We are in for a treat. By the way, we can see some Areola Grandes here. I don't think I need to censor that though, since, you know, hashtag free the nipple. Anyway, this is this is Nina, the elf, and she looks very attractive. The first girl, Luca points to, has pointy ears and skin as white as snow. Whoa, an elf? A real elf? That's a must for any fantasy world, of course. I've always had the feeling that elves would be a proud race that doesn't fare well with humans. And she's giving off exactly that vibe. <laughs> the lip flaps, man. They're getting me. I don't, I don't think we like how blunt Luca is. We're more of a Nina guy. <laughs> Nina furrows her brow at Luca, who's still talking on and on in the background. She said, Oh, bye. We know what that means. <笑>胸なんて弓を引くのに邪魔で肉体改造の魔法を覚えられたら小さくしたいくらいなのにそして見ないでちょうだいあなたたち視線には敏感なのよ私 Okay, another zoom in job. Uh, alright. Nina tries to cover her large breast with her arms, glaring at the people watching her. Her angry stare does make the Her angry stare does make the guys looking turn away for a second. Okay, I guess this is our thought bubble again. And Markapi says, she really doesn't like men, huh? But sheesh, look at those tits. And that ass too. Of course people will stare at you with a body like that woman. I feel, so, feel like I'm objectifying her. I'm not comfortable with this. I, I respect here. There's nothing like a chick with a perfect 10 body who's all nervous and embarrassed around guys. Luca continues her introductions, moving over to the next person. It's gonna be a cat girl. Hotch Pachi indeed, cute little tail, it has to be a cat girl. Maybe a dog, but I'm, I'm thinking cat girl. Hey. Dude, I'm all about the demi-humans. Let's go fights with a longsword. And she doesn't wear pants apparently, but that's okay. 
A cute girl with a fluffy tail and cute dog ears walks up next. They're saying this is dog? I guess the tail looks more dog, but the ears are saying cat to me. Whatever. She calls herself a demi-human, which must be the term used for dog girls, etc. around here. She's so cute! Oh crap, I want to pet her. Oh crap. Oh crap, I want to pet her so bad, she's adorable. Okay, of course the, you know, shameless zoom. She's not just cute though, but has a smashing body to boot. あんたは可愛いと言われてもあまり嬉しくない。冒険者として自分を磨き上げるためにこの町へやってきたのだから。私もニーナと同じようにあまり変な目で見ないでほしい。Ari, I think it was Ari, right? Ari glares at the guys looking at her body. She looks a lot more intimidating than Nina did, making me, making even me look away. She might be a rookie, but she seems strong. The obligatory MILF, apparently, Moa, I'm guessing? Okay, Ara Ara. The last girl to step forward does indeed look more mature than the rest. Uh, of course, the <laughs> zoom in. Uh, she's wearing what looks like some kind of religious gown, though that doesn't stop me from noticing her incredible baddie. A lot of the guys watching start nodding along, clapping excitedly. I watch the girls intensely as Luca continues her presentation. I see. So these four are among the top around here, huh? They're all so hot. So, so we have an elf, a milf, and a dog girl. So that's pretty epic. Uh, and Luca, I guess, which I don't know what category she falls into, but I'm sure we'll find out. Well, that's perfect. I get to hang out with chicks like that once I'm a strong adventurer. Count me in. I, I didn't really read that right. I didn't see the question mark, but we're going to continue on like I read it right. While I fantasize to myself, Luca continues. ま、but we're like super strong and stuff, so they're gonna party up with us probably conveniently for the plot. As you'd expect, about half the guys in the room instantly raised their hand. 
This is my chance. I'm not going to turn down a chance to join a party with these beauties. Me! Me! Pick me! I forced my way through the crowd, stopping right in front of the girls. Oh my. Wh what Who are you calling a pig? The moment she spots me, Luca takes a step back and stares at me in disgust. Hey, you little... Stop calling me that! I'm here to offer an invitation to my party, alright? You... You asked for the strongest. Well, I'm pretty proud of my abilities. I'll have you know. Here, just take a look at my stats. Luka points at me, and just like in a game, a window with various stats appears between us. This is how you can look up other people's abilities in this world. Look at this! I'm level 97! I proudly push out my chest, pointing at my level. Maybe we forgot to spend our level up points. Huh? I simply stare at her in shock for a second, not sure how to react. Really? The people around us start showing their status windows. They all have some kind of role next to their, next to their level, like swordsman, magician, and so on. And while all my stats are single digits, theirs are all triple digits. No, no way! So I guess we're not the overpowered protagonist in this series, which is odd. Usually we would be, but I, I wonder how the... You know, because this game is about situations of the sexual nature. I wonder how that's going to occur. Now I'm invested in this story. Let's continue. そう they both stare at me like I'm literal garbage. I look around to see if someone is willing to stand up for me, but... Wow, this would be horrible for someone with self-esteem issues coming in here. It's like, oh man, I'm gonna get a great game. And then all everyone's saying you stink and your stats are low. Man, good thing our stats in real life aren't low, am I right? If you're, if you're watching this, Plus 10 stamina to all of you. Suddenly, the cute demi human Ari plugs her nose as she looks over at me. H huh? I, I shower every day. Uh, that's so mean. <laughs> she might look cute, but her words sting. Okay, I kind of like this. I like this game now. I thought the dialogue was kind of poopy, but this is kind of, kind of interesting, kind of cute, kind of fun. Uh, 
この方はまだ町へいらしたばかりなんです。冒険者のことは何も知らなかったようですし。At least the milk sticks up for us. Fine. I'll go do that and come back at a, at a high level again. Finally, one of them actually says something nice, though my excitement doesn't last long. That's not good. A、uh, hundred? I stare back at her for a second. Dumbfounded. <laughs> My dream is ruined. I thought I had some incredible cheat stats. As it turns out, I was just being a complete noob. I wanted to spend my day boning hot chicks like her. An another close up? Oh man. I look up at Moa. More specifically, her tits. Look at those things. They're so huge. They look so soft. Maybe she'll let me join her party out of pity. And, like, care for me and stuff. The rest of the girls walk over and stare at me in disgust. And right after, a male adventurer, so I gotta give him a different voice. Hey, that dude is being creepy to Moa. Just be it already, or do I have to beat you instead? Huh? huh? Uh, hey guys, wait a second. I'm just e eek! Suddenly, the guys surrounding me start pushing me away, looking ready to attack me at any second. Get him! Whoa! whoa. Moa doesn't tell them to be gentle, but she doesn't exactly try to stop them. Oh, I misread that. Moa does tell them to be gentle, but she doesn't exactly try to stop them as the angry mob pushes me outside. Okay.、Uh, a different scenery. It looks like some sort of vanguard mighty hero statue. You know, the, the backgrounds aren't too bad. I think it's pretty decent for what we're getting here. Because I, I think I know where the budget mainly is. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! What the freak do I do now? This is a Christian channel, we don't curse here. After fleeing for my life, I sit down by myself, helpless. I spent all my money just getting here. I was thinking I'd be able to make it back as an adventurer. Now I'm screwed. Everyone in the guild hates me now. After finding out my stats are complete shite, there's nothing I can do by myself. How am I supposed to get by in this world? Tch, my dream life in a fantasy world is ruined. That'd be a great light novel title. I drop my head into my hands and just sit there in silence. Huh? L Luca? Luca smiles and holds out a hand to help me up. I don't really trust that. I don't trust that invitation. I'm、uh, very skeptical of this.、Oh, looks like we're going. Okay. This music is very unsettling, and I'm, I'm very suspicious of what is going to happen. I think that's a good introduction 
to this game because I haven't had to really censor anything except the title screen. So I'm gonna, this is the test episode, episode one. I'm sure in the next, you know, two minutes of gameplay, there's going to be just some, just some massive bones flying and they might be our bones. Luca might grow a bone and, and just bone. Oh, my, my Dio figurine is falling and cannot get up. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, so there might be some boning in the next two minutes, but I'm going to call it there. So I, won't, I won't have to edit this first episode. Give me some feedback. Uh, do you want me to read the girls' voices and turn off the, the voice acting? You know, can you can you understand the Japanese or read the, the girls' voice lines? Do you want me to read that? Let me know what you want. But that's all from this little Markapi Sue here. Next episode coming sometime in the future. I don't know if it's going to be every other day or not. I've rambled for too long. End of the episode. Four favors. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, help me find a girlfriend. And bye bye